Last night in Vancouver, Mikey DiPietro steps onto the same ice that he was on in that quarterfinal game. Uh, you were there calling it, obviously, during the World Juniors. Um, and really goofy, like Markstrom got injured. And I don't even know all the background and the details in terms of how DiPietro got there and how he got the start. But he got in. He gives up a goal in his first shot ever faced in the NHL. A couple of other fluky goals go by him. Yeah, it was a tough one. I it felt was, for the. I felt horrible. for him last yeah. night. Like, how did Vancouver end up with him in that position? Um, okay, so there's a little bit of a chain of events here. It, uh, a lot of it, I don't know really that they could do much different. But at the end, they botched it. And there's no way Di Pietro should have been the only goalie available to play last night. So this starts with Richard Bachman tearing his Achilles in the American League. Their starter down there. He and Thatcher Demko were the goalies. So um, Bachman's out for the year. They, they found uh, a goaltender to sign him to an American League deal, a 10-game 10, 10 American deal. He backed up Demko. Then Demko's camp started putting pressure on the Canucks. It was time for him to get to the NHL. So they called up Demko. They traded Nilsson to Ottawa mm-hmm. and then claimed McKenna. So they thought they were covered. But then Philly got another goalie injury, and McKenna got claimed. Mm-hmm. So now they got nobody. Then they signed Michael Layton to an American League deal. That's what they've got in the American League. They don't even have a goalie capable of being called up. And Thatcher Demko hurt his knee. So they thought, well, we'll get Di Pietro in here. He doesn't have to play. He can work with our goalie coach. And, you know, Matt Markstrom will play all the games. Well, then Markstrom tweaked something. They got nobody else. And so for a lot of it, I don't know that it was really their, anything that they screwed up. At the end, they totally screwed up. They trade for Eric Marazinich today for a seventh-round pick. You mean to tell me you couldn't have done that five days ago or ten days ago? No kidding. When, or as soon as, as soon as Demko got hurt, the plan to get Di Pietro in was a bad plan because what if he had to play? And then guess what? The worst of worst happens. Not only did he have to play, they didn't even have another option. And he got his teeth kicked in last night. Right. And I felt bad for him because that's not how it should be. Um, I think he handled it really well. And for those in Vancouver, that you know, of course, there's some that are panicking off the deep end. Oh, this could ruin the kid. Not a chance. Goalies give up crappy goals all the time. They have crappy games all the time. He, he'll be fine. It's, it's not even a concern. But it was a bad spot to put him in. This might be a stretch, but do you think they looked at Philly and Carter Hart and thought, you know what, that kid's 21, or he's not even 21, and he's been playing great. Maybe maybe Mikey will be okay? Uh, I, I, If they did, I hope not, Dutch, because don't forget, Carter Hart, older. He'd already played half a year in the American League. Mm-hmm. Di Pietro's playing junior. Mm-hmm. Like, what goalie goes from junior and starts an NHL game? Nobody. Nobody. And Against so, San Jose, you know, said, too. Like, San Jose is on oh. a heater right now. Like, everything yes. they touch is going in. They're on they fire. They should have fired up Kirky McLean and just said, Kirky, <laughs> do you want to play tonight? Yeah. Actually, um, I think Kirk has thrown all his goalie gear away. He plays in the alumni as a forward. They all do. <laughs> they all hate it. Yeah, they're all like, I'm not going in there. You go in there. I don't blame them. But it was a mess. And just think, they're two points out of a playoff spot, mm. and they didn't have themselves organized well enough you know, to have uh, capable and enough goalies to play a game. Like, Markstrom couldn't even go into the game. He was not going to play yesterday, no matter what happened. And what happened was he gave up, what, six on his first 15 shots. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bad look. That's a really ugly look uh, in Vancouver.